welcome everyone to another rankings video. I am your host Slasher Scotty and what a set of films we're gonna rank this week. This time we are going to rank the Scream films. That's right, the genius mystery horror slasher films that has been directed and created by Wes Craven himself. These films are known for their mystique about who the killer is. I mean, the killer is not revealed until the end of each movie, and there has been a total of seven killers under the Ghostface persona, you know, across four movies. And there's going to be a fifth movie coming out in January of 2022, but we can't count that one, because right now it's only February 2021. That means the fifth screen film has not been released yet, so it's not on this ranking. But, yeah, this is going to be great. I can't wait to get into the mystique of, this, of these films. It's one of my favorite, and it reinvented the slasher genre, right? So, how about, um, before we get into that, how about I let you know some, some information. So, give me a subscription on this channel. If you like me, you love me, give me some love. Show me some love, right? Right? Also, give this video a like if you like what you watched. And, of course, comment if you agree or disagree. And tell us why you agree or disagree with my rankings and the order that they're in. And you want to hit that bell notification icon that way you can get notified on every video i upload from podcast interviews with celebrity guests from you know the ranking videos the top 10 videos and any other videos my little slasher heart desires but before we get into wes craven's you know his little uh what's the word i'm looking for oh yeah that's right the slasher of scream the film the franchise of scream let me tell you about my little special golden rule, that famous golden rule. And that is, well, these are my own personal opinions. I care what you guys think. I really do. So if you don't agree with me, don't murder me about it. Don't be a ghost face. Be a you. That means comment. Do, do your, due, your due diligence and comment right in the comment box down below and let me know what your favorites are. But these are my opinions and I'm about to tell you why they're my, why they're my favorites and in this order. You do your part and tell me yours in the comments below. But now are you ready to get into some Scream? Are you ready to find out what Wes Craven's genius has brought to the table across four films? I am too. Let's go. I'll see you in the other studio, all right? See you soon, boys. Ah! That's right. It's a Scream, baby. It's a Scream. We are in the... the now, number four on the list is, to no surprise to all of you, is Scream 3. That's right, Scream 3 is, of course, the last one on the list, of course. And the reason why is, well, it's not that good. It really isn't. It's really the weakest one of this franchise, in my opinion. I mean, first of all, I liked the idea, you know, of being in Hollywood and filming Staff 3 and all that. I really did. It was, pr it was a different idea, a different approach to things. And Nev Campbell, she really wasn't available for much of the shoot, which is why her role was really limited in this film, even though she's the final girl. But... There's a couple things that were wrong with this, and the primary one is, well, the voice recorder. <laughs> the voice recorder. Seriously? How did the killer happen to get the voice recording of every single but every single person and use it on his voice recorder? It just was a plot point that did not make any sense. Also, another problem with this film was, well, the whole retconning of the original attacks in the first movie. I'm going to get into the first film in a little bit, so I'm not going to really spoil that much there. But what I will say is that this one basically says that the killer, spoiler alert, Roman Bridger, the director of Staff 3, is, well, he's the, he was the one that put Billy and Stu up to killing Maureen Prescott and his mother in the, before the first movie started. And he's the one, I guess Billy, I don't know if Billy raped her on his own or what, but either way, Roman is the one that... I guess masterminded that and the whole Woodbury murders. Like, the Woodbury murders, I don't get that. I mean, I really just didn't get why they had a retcon and backtrack every single thing and basically devalued what the first screen gave us. I just did not understand that. I did not like that. Um, it just wasn't for me. And then, of course, the long lost brother thing when Marina was Roman's, you know, mother and she did, she abandoned him or whatever, whatever, and he's Sydney's long lost brother. It just was a hot mess, if I may be honest. That's why this one's last on the list, and I'm sure everybody agrees with me. I, I haven't met one person that really liked this movie. I mean, I enjoy it, I can watch it and stomach it. I just don't like this movie as much as the others in this franchise. I mean, we have to be honest, right? Number three on my rankings is Scream 2. Now, I was a little torn between this one and the next one on my list to put as the number three spot. 
But I chose number, I mean, Scream 2 as number 3 for a reason. And that reason is, I think I love you, so what are you so afraid of? That's right, David Cassidy's song, I think I love you, is the reason why this one dropped a peg compared to the next one on the list. And why, I mean, it isn't so much the song where Derek sings it in the cafeteria to Sydney. It wasn't so much the song. It was the fact that he gave the, the big no-no and gave his fraternity pin to Sydney. And then he was hazed afterwards for doing such a dastardly deed. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This isn't a no-no. I mean, you can give your girl or your guy, if you're, you know, you know, I guess gay or whatever, like, you, you can give them your fraternity pin. That, I mean, that's okay. That's not a no-no. That is a sign of, of love, and that's a sign of devotion and commitment. And I personally don't see nothing wrong with it, and I was in a fraternity, and I know there's nothing wrong with that. So, I'm going to be honest with you, I, that just didn't make any sense to me. It wasn't realistic, it wasn't truthful, and maybe there are some fraternities that's a no-no, but the one I was in and a couple of the others that I knew of on campus, they were, that wasn't a no-no for them. They were allowed to give the fraternity pin to the girl or to the guy. It was just, it wasn't frowned upon. So, I mean, that's why I had to put this, you know, as number three. The Killers. <laughs> killers are Debbie Salt, and I'll tell you who that is in a second, and Nikki, the best friend of Derek. Now, Debbie Salt, she needed somebody to help her with killing, and she came across Nikki on some type of forum website, serial killer website. And... Yeah, Debbie Saul, she, she was a shock to me, and she is played by Roseanne Glory Metcalf, who played Aunt Jackie. Now, she was actually a shocker to me as a killer. I, I'm not gonna, when I first seen this, I'm not gonna lie. And I can't look at Aunt Jackie the same ever again. But, I mean, Debbie Saul was real, it was a shocker. And while the biggest shock about it was, she was revealed not to be just Debbie Saul, that's her alias, Mrs. Frickin' Loomis! That's right, she is the mother, the long lost mother of Billy Loomis. You know, Sydney's boyfriend in the first movie. So yes, that was the shocking reveal for me in this. And then of course, her and Mickey were killed, and the rest is history. Cotton Weary, he got his interview at the end of the movie. He uh, really wasn't the killer like everybody suspected him to be. And that was that. I mean, I ultimately enjoyed this movie, but I think God love you kind of, and the fraternity sin thing kind of, you know, <laughs> sorry. Number two on the rankings is Scream 4. Boy, oh boy, it wasn't a long, long time since we got a fourth Scream movie. Since Scream 3 was released in 2000, that means it was 11 years since this one was released. That's right, this movie came out in 2011. And, well, the fifth one is coming out in 2022. Wait, hold on a minute. That was 11 more years. Does that mean that every 11 years is going to be the trend on when we get a new Scream movie? Okay. Anyways... Um, back to the movie. Jill and... Oh, wait, sorry. Jill and Rory were revealed as the killers of this movie. Jill being the cousin of Sydney and once the fame that Sydney has. And this movie even went as far as to make it think that Courtney Cox's Gail Weathers was going to be killed off. And I personally, when I first saw this movie, thought she was going to be killed off. But she wasn't. I, I mean, I didn't think they were going to go a fourth movie with keeping the same three alive, you know, Dewey, Gale, and Sydney. But they did. Um, but I was, I actually was leaning towards Gale Weathers being killed off in this one, and she wasn't, which was a great thing. I liked it, because I like Gale Weathers, I like Sydney Prescott, and I like Dewey Riley as well. And of course, Kirby was killed off, but we don't know, because we don't see her body. The last time we see her, she's alive, like... But she's actually, uh, I mean, she might be dead, she might be alive, who knows? Maybe we'll find out in 2022! Number one on this ranking should come to no surprise to anybody, and that is the original Scream film. That's right, the film directed and created by Wes Craven that literally revitalized the, the horror slasher movie genre. It totally reinvented the genre, to, like, just beyond no other. I mean, this movie is, a, is great. And, uh, I mean, of course, we had the killers. Spoiler alert! Being Billy Loomis, Sidney Prescott's boyfriend, and his best friend, Stu Mocker, who was Sidney's best friend, Adam's boyfriend. Um, but this movie was, of course, the... It was a mystique. It was mysterious. You didn't know who the killers were. I thought I kind of figured Billy was going to be one of them. was going to be the killer. I didn't know there was going to be two when I first watched it. 
But he kind of made it obvious, even if they were trying to make him look like he was guilty and be afraid, but it didn't really work. Nice surprise to see Henry, Henry Winkler. You know Henry Winkler, don't you? The Fawns from Happy Days. He was in it. Of course, we had the, the introduction to the original. We had Gail Weathers, played by Courtney Cox. Dewey Riley, played by David Arquette. And, of course, Cindy uh, Prescott, played by Neff Campbell. And then we had also Tatum, Tatum Riley, played by Rose McGowan. So, yeah, this is, this is a pretty good film. Great cast, and I enjoyed this film. It's such a mystery, and like, you, you're always on the edge of your seat. But this movie was really great. I, like I said, there's, uh, there's no way that this could be uh, this cannot be number one on the list. There's, I mean, you all have to agree with me on that one. I would hope so, anyways. But that's it. We just ranked the four Scream films in the Scream franchise. Isn't that great? So how about you come over to my other studio? We get on counting them down and going into some business details. See you there, boys and girls. That's right, we have just ranked the four screen movies. Wow, it was such a good feeling. We ranked them all from number four to number one. If you agree with me, please let me know in the comment below. And if you don't agree with me, tell me why you don't agree and what order you rank them because I want to know. I love all my fans and I want to know what you all think. And of course, I want to interact with you. So, you know, have some you know talking time with me and tell me what you think. I enjoy knowing what all of my fans like. And of course, like the video if you liked what you saw, and like I said, leave that comment below. And hit the bell notification icon because I have other ranking videos in the works, other top 10 videos in the works, and some other content as well as interviews that are in the works. So you want to get notified on all those videos, so you might as well you know, hit that bell notification icon so you can get told when they're uploaded. That way you don't have to keep coming back and looking to get the email. And of course the notification. But, you know, this is also a screen, so you want to slap. Subscribe button. And then, you know, I really, really enjoyed this uh, this ranking video. It was really fun. It really was. I enjoyed it a lot. And I hope you did too. Now, until next time, I'm Slasher Scotty, and this has been a screen, baby. That's right, there's always a formula. A very simple formula. Ah!